In this video, I'll show you how to unlock the full potential of your processor with pro-level tweaks and system adjustments that can significantly boost your in-game performance and FPS. Whether you're on Intel or AMD, these steps are designed to maximize CPU efficiency and eliminate unnecessary system bottlenecks. If you're serious about getting the best possible performance out of your CPU, make sure to watch this video till the end, drop a like, and subscribe for more advanced optimization guides. Now, let's get started. Frustrated with the lag and high ping while you play games so guys you need gear a booster this is the ultimate tool to lower your ping boost stability and give you zero lag pro players like asian jeff and polarized use it to stay ahead so why not you download gear a booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match to begin optimizing your cpu for maximum gaming performance the first step is to apply two powerful registry tweaks in windows these changes will help unlock the full potential of your processor by disabling core parking and prioritizing CPU resources for active applications. Start by searching for Registry Editor in the Windows search bar and running it as an administrator. Once it's open, navigate to the registry path provided in the video description. This path leads to the section where CPU core parking can be disabled. Core parking is a power saving feature that prevents certain CPU cores from being used, which can negatively impact performance in demanding games. By disabling it, you ensure that all your CPU cores are always active and ready to handle gaming workloads. In the registry editor, locate the value named max, double click it, and set the value data to 100. Make sure the base is set to hexadecimal, then click OK. This tells Windows to allow full utilization of the CPU. Next, find the minimum value, modify it, and set it to zero, again, using hexadecimal as the base. This step ensures that Windows won't throttle your CPU by parking cores unnecessarily, giving you a consistent and responsive experience while gaming. After applying the core parking fix, the next registry tweak focuses on prioritizing foreground applications. In other words, giving your active game or software maximum CPU attention. Copy the second registry path from the video description and paste it into the registry editor. Press enter to navigate there. Find the key called Win32 Priority Separation, right click on it and choose Modify. Set the value data to 26 and make sure the base is again set to hexadecimal. This tweak improves how Windows allocates CPU resources, giving more priority to your active game rather than background tasks. Once all these changes are made, simply close the registry editor. No restart is required in most cases, but restarting the PC is recommended to fully apply the optimizations. Now it's time to introduce one of the most effective tools for CPU optimization, Process Lasso. To get started, simply visit uptopax.com. Once you're on the website, head over to the FPS Boost section. There, you'll easily spot the most recent post. It will have the same title and thumbnail as this YouTube video you're watching. Click on that post and you'll find a direct download link to the CPU optimization pack. Download the pack onto your PC and once it's downloaded, you'll be ready to dive into the next steps of this guide. With Process Lasso, you'll unlock advanced CPU tuning capabilities that significantly improve gaming performance and system responsiveness, especially during high load gaming sessions. Setting up Process Lasso for optimal CPU performance in gaming is a straightforward yet powerful way to boost your system's efficiency. To start, open the application and go to the main tab. Make sure Manage Processes of All Users is checked. This grants Process Lasso full control over every active task. Then under Active Power Profile, select Bitsum Highest Performance. This custom profile is designed to eliminate power saving interruptions and ensure your CPU is always running at maximum capability. Lastly, in this section, confirm that ProBalance is enabled. This intelligent feature prevents background processes from interfering with your games by dynamically adjusting their CPU priorities. All three options must be active before moving forward. Next, go to the Options menu and click on General Settings. Here, you'll want to ensure Manage Processes of All Users is checked once more. Then adjust the GUI refresh interval and GAV refresh bow interval both to 5 seconds. This keeps the interface and data refreshes fast and responsive, allowing you to monitor CPU behavior in near real time. Now head into the CPU section and open ProBalance settings. Ensure Enable ProBalance is ticked and make sure all other default checkboxes under this section are also enabled. This keeps the system responsive without limiting your game's performance. 
Then back in the Options tab, navigate to Power Settings, and under Performance Mode, make sure the following options are checked. Change Power Profile when engaged, Enable Automatic Detection, and Disable Idle Saver while Performance Mode is engaged. These ensure that your system switches into peak performance automatically when a demanding application, like a game, is launched. With these global optimizations in place, it's time to fine-tune settings for individual games. Launch the game you want to optimize, let's say Minecraft, CS2, Fortnite, or Valorant, and leave it running in the background. This step is essential because Process Lasso can only apply changes to active running processes. Once the game is open, find the game's .exe process in the list. Right-click on the game's process and go to CPU Priority, Always hide to ensure the game consistently receives priority access to your CPU. Do the same for I.O. priority. Right-click, select always, and set it to high as well. Then right-click once more and go to Power Profile and select Bitsum Highest Performance to lock that game to the most optimized power plan. Once you've optimized these settings, Process Lasso will automatically apply them every time you launch that specific game. No need to redo the setup. Just repeat this process for each game you want to optimize. These CPU-specific tweaks, especially when paired with a well-optimized Windows setup, can deliver a noticeable FPS boost and smoother overall gameplay on both low-end and high-end systems. Now open the CPU optimization folder. Inside, you'll find several important files that need to be installed one at a time. It's crucial to follow the included instructions carefully to ensure that each file is installed correctly, as they're designed to tweak your system for maximum CPU efficiency. After that, navigate to the CPU priority folder within the package. Here, you'll notice two subfolders, one labeled for Intel CPUs and the other for AMD CPUs. Choose the folder that matches your system's processor. If you're using an Intel CPU, open the Intel folder and run the provided installer. For AMD users, do the same within the AMD folder. These tweaks are tailored specifically for each CPU type and help prioritize your games at a system level, ensuring smoother gameplay and better performance. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. In this next crucial step, we'll be disabling a few unnecessary Windows services that can significantly boost your FPS and overall system performance by reducing background CPU usage. Start by opening the Start menu, typing Services, and launching the Services app. Once it's open, scroll down to locate a service called Superfetch, also known as SysMain on newer versions of Windows. This service is designed to preload frequently used apps into memory, but for gaming, it often leads to unnecessary CPU and disk usage. Right-click on SysMain, select Properties, and in the new window, set the startup type to Disabled, then click OK to apply the change. Next, find the service named Windows Search. While it helps deliver faster search results by indexing files in the background, it constantly consumes system resources and is a common cause of high CPU usage, especially on low-end PCs. To disable it, right-click on Windows Search, go to Properties, and change the startup type to Disabled as well. Click OK to confirm. These changes help reduce background workload on your CPU, ensuring more resources are available for your games, 
resulting in smoother gameplay and better frame rates. Now let's move on to a simple but highly effective tweak, disabling transparency and animation effects in Windows. These visual elements might look nice, but they can quietly drain system resources and impact performance, especially during gaming sessions. To get started, go to the Windows search bar and type Show Animations in Windows, then click on the matching result. This setting controls the smooth transitions you see when opening, closing, or switching between windows. While they add visual flair, these animations can cause unnecessary CPU and GPU usage, particularly on lower-end systems. To give your PC a speed boost, toggle this option off. Once disabled, transitions will become snappier and more performance-friendly. Now, disable show transparency in windows. This feature adds a glass-like, semi-transparent look to elements like the Start menu, Taskbar and Windows, but again, it comes at a performance cost. Disabling this will remove the visual effects and help free up system resources, allowing Windows to run more smoothly and responsively. By turning off both animations and transparency, you're reducing the visual overhead on your CPU and GPU, helping your system focus more on what really matters, delivering higher FPS in games. In this next step, we're going to fine-tune Windows' visual effects to maximize performance by minimizing unnecessary graphical processing. Start by typing Advanced System Settings into the Windows search bar and selecting the matching result. Once the System Properties window opens, navigate to the Advanced tab and click the Settings button under the Performance section. This brings up the Performance Options window. Under the Visual Effects tab, select Adjust for Best Performance. This option automatically disables all fancy animations and graphical effects that consume CPU and memory in the background. Features that look nice, but aren't needed when you're focused on gaming. Disabling these helps your system allocate more power to running games smoothly. However, after choosing Adjust for Best Performance, you can still customize it by re-enabling only the features that improve usability. For instance, animate windows when minimizing and maximizing keeps transitions smooth. Show thumbnails instead of icons, useful for image and video previews. Smooth edges of screen fonts improves text readability, especially on high-res monitors. After making your selections, click Apply and then OK to save the changes. This tweak reduces the graphical workload on your CPU and RAM, delivering a noticeable boost in system responsiveness and helping you achieve better in-game FPS. All right, guys, in this step, we're going to fine tune a critical system setting that allows your CPU to operate at its full capacity, giving you an instant edge in performance, especially during gaming. Start by opening the Windows search bar and typing system configuration, then click on the result to open the utility. Once the window pops up, head over to the boot tab and from there, click on advanced options. Inside this menu, you'll find an option labeled Number of Processors. By default, this setting might not be enabled, which means your system could be limiting how many CPU cores are used during boot. To fix that, check the box next to Number of Processors, and from the drop-down list, select the highest number available. For instance, if your system lists 4, 8, or 16, always choose the maximum value shown. This ensures all available cores are active and ready to deliver full performance right from startup. Once selected, click OK, then hit Apply, and again click OK to confirm everything. You'll be prompted to restart your PC. Go ahead and reboot to lock in these changes. After the restart, your CPU will be fully unlocked and better optimized for high-performance tasks like gaming, giving you smoother gameplay and faster system responsiveness. So that wraps up today's video, guys. If you found it helpful, don't forget to smash that like button. It really helps out a lot. And if you're into more FPS boosting and gaming optimization tips, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an upload. Thanks for watching, and as always, peace out.